What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So, a year ago maybe, I brought in two pallets of unclaimed mail. And I went through them, well, as many as I could in like an hour long video, and then sold pretty much all of them. Most of them was like bubble mailers, uh, poly bags, stuff like that. All of those sold, we put them in our warehouse sale and they were a hit. And then I had a link on the video where viewers could buy them and we sold a whole bunch that way too. But I always saved the boxes and it just kept getting buried and forgotten about. I didn't want to put these in the warehouse sale because it would be easy to confuse it with other things. And I didn't want to have this on the link where we were shipping them because it wouldn't be cost effective to ship for how it was, had them priced. So they've just kind of been forgotten about. So now we're going to cut through all of these and see what the last of them are. I'm excited because I have, I don't think I opened, I might have opened some of the boxes on the video. I don't know. So on the last video, it was a lot of like lower dollar stuff. There was some mid value stuff, nothing super crazy, no iPods or anything. Um, I'm assuming this is probably gonna be the same because it's the same palette. So let's dive in. So first, we get this box, pretty lightweight. Um, it looks like it's coming from Walmart, WMT Returns. I'm assuming that means Walmart. And in this box is... Uh, looks like a Halloween wreath. It's got like a witch and stuff on it. We'll put that... Oh, almost got it, on the Halloween palette. This one, 99 supply use. I mean, this could easily be reused boxes. Uh, this one, uh, going to New Jersey. It doesn't say a business name or anything. Also lightweight. And in it is, what is this? Oh dear. Say on the back, no. My first thought was this is one of those things that goes on your rear wiper, so it looks like they're waving, but I don't know, we'll put that on. Oh, that was, that was a whiff. Let's try to put it on the Christmas palette. All right, we got a Walmart box here. This is not labeled as Walmart though, so it could have just been a box that someone reused. And in it is some sort of rug. It's like one of those memory foam it feels like a bath mat. It could be like one of the anti-fatigue mats that you put in front of like your kitchen sink. And it says home. In case you're ever washing the dishes and you look down and you forget where you are. So, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks, something like that. This one. No business name on it. A lot of people ask, well, what if you're getting people's personal items? In all the ones I opened, there's no personal items. I don't know if they can filter that out some way. This is birdies for, what is that, badminton? Uh, two or three bucks. Oh, looks like we missed one of the bags. And in it is a box with, it's an Amazon return. Uh, dragon costume. When you're tired, you're dragon. Ooh, this looks pretty fancy. It's like a plastic material. And then we've got a mask and a tail. I bet, again, it's gonna have to wait for Halloween. I wonder if it was around Halloween when I got this. Um, I bet I can get like 20 bucks for that. All right, here's a little one. This one, WMT Returns. And it is... I don't know what this is. This is... It's like a light-up Christmas ornament, but it's glued to this. And then I've got this thing. I have no idea. I'm gonna throw it in the trash. 
right, this one. So it was all scribbled out, so I'm guessing this was a reused box. And it is outlet covers. Um, oh, no, it's not outlet covers. These are the ones that, I don't know if you can kind of see, there are like little terminals here that connect to the screws. And on the bottom, you see these little dots here. These are night lights. So you put this, and then the front here is uh, not a camera, like a, what's the word for that? Like where it can tell if it's light or not. Anyways, there's a word for it, and it's really bothering me that I can't think of it. I have an Airbnb, and I would not want to put these in there because that does look like a camera, though. Um, anyways, I don't know. 10, 15 bucks for that. Those are kind of neat. Here we've got double smoked sausages. I hope that's what's in here. I, well, actually I hope that's not what's in here because it hasn't been refrigerated and it's been sitting in here for a year. I feel like I would smell it if that's what was in here. Uh, oh, I wonder if this is from the same person. It's another anti-fatigue mat, a heart, Rainbow Heart Rustic Wood. There's two of them in here. So, 10 bucks each or so. Alright, we got another one of these. This is... There it is. The first box that I opened. It's like the exact same size. So, I don't know if it's the same thing or... No. It's a little basket tray. No. Two, three bucks. We got this one. Apple, ooh, Apple gift cards. Almost guaranteed a reuse box. Uh, from a company called Everbest Sales. So maybe they can tell if it's like from a business rather than from an individual and the ones from individuals wouldn't get put in here. We've got more Halloween. Which feet? I don't know if you're supposed to like hang these out of your car or what you're supposed to do with them. Got it. Right on the Halloween palette. A Walmart box. A New Ray Development Corp. And it is, looks like apparel. Uh, I have no idea what it is. What is this? I'm guessing this is a swimsuit. Or maybe not. Biker shorts, I think. They don't have the pad in the, the butt area, but they are like elastic shorts, I'm assuming, for some sort of athletics. And this is Oh, this is the top that goes with it. Oh, maybe it's for swimming. I don't know. There's the brand. Kamaze. Uh, it's got the tags that say on here. Warm reminder. Oh, for body sculpting. That's why it's got the weird inside. So I think it's kind of like a sauna suit, but a little more fashionable maybe. I'm not entirely sure what body sculpting is. It's some sort of weight loss thing. I am going to set this aside so we can look it up on eBay because this might have some, some eBay value. So we'll set that aside. All right, here we go. This is most likely a reused box. Dinnerware, it says. It is a Bluetooth adapter dongle for a PS4. I don't know what it's for. It's an off-brand video game peripheral. All right, we have priority mail packaging here. This one has a handwritten, um, like, address label. And inside is a box. And that box says, virtual reality glasses. Interesting. Hmm. 
Mm. Is this one of those ones that you put your phone in? Yeah, I think so. I don't think those are super valuable. Maybe we'll get 10 bucks for this. This one's got the headphones. I've never seen them with that. I guess maybe I never just, never looked that closely at them. Uh, but virtual reality glasses. I'm gonna say 10 bucks. Oh, we got a really little one here. Actually, this doesn't even have an address label. This may have fallen out of a box or something. And in it is a little tiny box with ooh, a little pocket knife. I don't know, five bucks in the auction. I'm gonna lose it if I don't put it in my pocket. That's where pocket knives belong, right? All right, this one has a little bit more weight to it compared to the others. Uh, WMT returns. And we've got sweaters. Two sweaters. Size, I don't know. Size medium. I'm assuming the other one. Oh no, this one's a size small. So, I don't know, five bucks each. We got this one. Also has a little bit of weight to it. You can hear stuff rattling around. And it is self-priming drill pump. I don't know, this is another thing I'm gonna look up on eBay. Because I don't even know what a self-priming drill pump is. It includes pump, hoses, hose clamps, and instruction manual. I don't know, we'll look it up. We have this one. It's dense. Ever best sales again. I think we had one with that name earlier. Looks like apparel. It is. I don't know. Pajamas. We got the pants here. And I'm assuming the other one is going to be the shirt. So a set of pajamas. Um, I'm going to save somewhere between five and 10 bucks. Uh, we got a big one here and it's actually pretty dense. Some of the bigger ones, they felt empty and it was just like a little thing in it. This one doesn't feel empty. Uh, this one is just addressed to a person and it is, I don't know what this is, some sort of rug maybe? It's a rug that I don't know what this symbol means, but it's making me dizzy. It looks like, uh, like one of those illusion things when you get the book that has all the illusion. All right, here's a Sam's Club box. That doesn't sound good. Um, addressed to Aroma. I think that's a candle company. So it's probably a customer return. This one is stamped postage due. They mailed it. I'm gonna cover the addresses and stuff with just a forever stamp. No wonder this postage due. So my guess is they returned something to Aroma and just put a stamp on the box thinking that would make it go. And when Aroma got it, they had to pay the postage due and they said, yeah, we're not paying it, we're rejecting it. And it is a whole bunch of nail polish. Nail polish. This was a return to Aroma. So it's one, two, try to not spill it out. One, two, three, four, six bottles of nail polish. Looks like fancy nail polish. Uh, is there a price on here? No, it was 16 colors, but it says a six color set. So maybe you mix them or something. Let's give me another one of all up on eBay. That might have some value. All right, what about this one? See, this one, the box is too big for the item. It's not dense, which is why it's kind of crushed in on the side. And this is what in the world is this? They go on your feet, but they have this on the bottom. Oh, 
think they go on your feet. It sure looks like something you'd wrap around your feet. I have no idea. Some sort of splint, maybe? Um, all right, this box. Okay. Uh, this box is two JD-US-04. Interesting. And it is, oh, this is a Walmart tag on it. Um, what is it? It doesn't say what it is on here. Some sort of container. Refund something. I can't read that. Uh, but it had a price of twenty dollars and twenty nine cents. Let's open it up because let's double check. It doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say on the slip here what it is. Well, that's helpful. Didn't even cut through the plastic. Alright, oh, I can see why it was returned. This side here is broken. And it is... Oh. Okay. I think it's a beverage dispenser. You got these three holes on it. And these are like spouts that would go on it. So I think you'd have like three different... Doesn't seem like enough for beverages though. Let's see if the picture on this is more helpful if I take it out of the plastic. It's all in Chinese or Korean maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't know what this would have Maybe some sort of condiments that are like thinner, like a salad dressing or something. I'm not sure. 10 bucks maybe, maybe five. Alright, this is an Amazon box. Doesn't sound too good in there, but last time something didn't. It does have a label. Oh, this is also going to Aroma. I was going to say last time something sounded broken. It's a bunch of nail polish. And this might be the same thing. This one was not mailed with just a stamp, though. It has, like, an actual shipping label on it, so maybe that's not why the other one was rejected or whatever, what have you. And this one is not nail polish. All right, Halloween cute snack bowl, uh, missing parts, I think. It looks like it's missing a whole bunch of, oh no, that will be there. All right, so this goes on here. This goes like that. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put this together right now. Then you can see, this is kind of cool. Try to get these pins out. Come on, one more. You can do it. All right, so we'll put that. Oh, it's not fitting. And I dropped one of the pins. We'll see if I ever find that again. And I dropped the other pin. Everything's a hammer. And that will go here. The next pin. Oops. Hold on. If you go to my other channel, I actually do know how to build things. But I'm trying to do this without stopping the video. And I'm trying to do it uh, without tools. Oh, did I lose the other pen? I think I lost the other pen. I'm still here, don't worry. But I lost the 
other pin, so I can't finish this. So anyways, this would go like that, and this would sit like that. It's for snacks, and it looks like a broom. So maybe when I sweep up, I'll find it. I'll set that aside. It's kind of neat. If I can find the pin that I dropped, I'm gonna say 10 bucks. All right, we got a Walmart box here. This one is also addressed to those cryptic numbers and letters. And it is, there's a couple things in here. This thing is, it's like a shag rug. It's padded and it's small. I'm gonna guess like a seat cushion. And I bet this is another seat cushion. So I'm gonna go with, oh, it's probably like a cat bed or something. So two cat beds. It's got like a rubberized bottom, so it won't slide around. All right, we got an Amazon box. Cable and Toad Corp. So if you want to purchase, it's a weird combination. If you want to purchase a table, you call them. But if you're looking to purchase a toad, well, you're never gonna believe this. We sell those too. Uh, this has, what's this? Um, it's another copy of the label. So it must have been, yep. I'm guessing it's a return. Women's lightweight rain jacket. Outdoor, packable, waterproof, zip up raincoat. So that is going to be right here. Packs down pretty nice. It's a raincoat. I'm gonna say 10 bucks for this. Size so small. All right, next box. Walmart. Oh, this is also table and toad. No paper in this one. Looks like a sweater. A very fuzzy, fluffy sweater. Size medium. Oof. <clears throat> very dusty sweater. Right. We're getting down to it. We got Walmart. This one is to a person. But it's shipped from Walmart. So this may not be a reused box. Shipped from Walmart to a person in New Jersey. And in it, another package. This one, shipping department. So it is a yellow thing. I think it's for a pet. A little raincoat. I am totally bringing this home for the cats. It's a little raincoat for a cat or a very small dog or a very large rat. All right, this one is uh, to that mysterious set of numbers and letters. And, whoa, these are a bunch of things. I don't know what this is. I have placemat, maybe? There are two of them. Maybe China. I'm gonna go with either a placemat or like a hot pad so you can set a hot pan on the table. All right, this one has the lithium battery thing on it, but it also feels very light, so it could have been a reused box. And in it, definitely doesn't have a lithium battery. This is for a dog, a tiny little sweater, Christmas sweater. Let's see if this will fit the cats too. They're gonna claw me like crazy. All right, what do we have next? Little box. We're getting down towards the end here. So this one. Hold on, there's a slip of paper. This is instruction, instructions. It's an atomizer, whatever that means. It looks like a witch's cauldron, uh, but the handle is broken off. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. 
There, fixed it. We've got the power cord and this thing, which looks like it's a bunch of LED lights. I'm guessing, I don't know what an atomizer is, but if I were to make a guess, I'd say you fill this up with water and it glows with the lights and like steam comes up off of it, much like you would see on a witch's cauldron. All right, this is a big one. This one, another one was JD-US-04. And it is a curling iron. That'll sell for 10 bucks. Everbest Sales. It says Dollar Shop on it. What is this? Sweater, blanket. Big sweater. Like one of the long ones. Is it what size is it? Uh does not say what size it is. But it is a big, long, knit sweater. This one's really lightweight. To WEM, W-E-M returns. I wonder if that was supposed to be Walmart and it was misspelled. But that's something else. Oh, we got some more bags. All right, so we've got that. I don't know what this is. Doesn't say on there. And we've got another one. It feels like the same thing. All right. So this has a USB charger. And, oh, it's a GPS. So some sort of like a vehicle tracker, I guess. Uh, enhanced magnetic locator. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna guess that this is just a cheap Chinese thing that you can get for like $15 on Amazon. So I'm gonna say five to eight bucks a piece. All right, I'm gonna iron this one up. A Rebo. And now that I picked it up, I know that it's not full of gummies. I'm a little bummed out by that. Is it Haribo or Haribo? That's a, probably a Wisconsin company. They have a giant warehouse near the Illinois border. And it is, looks like washcloths. Maybe hand towels. Hand towels. We got a set of two of them. All right, we've got some small ones here. Move them to the other side of the pallet so I can get to them. Start with this one, Table and Toad Corp. We opened a couple from them. I don't remember what items were in those though. Why is this not opening? On the side of the box it says, Generic female flower, 250 pack. So if anyone says you are a special flower, just tell them, no, I am a generic flower. All right. It is not flowers, it's more pajamas. What does it say? Oh, it's a sleeping bear. And then those are the bottoms. Another set of pajamas. This one is a little crushed. And in it is two pieces of something, apparel related. This one is a bra. And I'm assuming the other one is probably also a bra. Yes. Another, I'm holding it upside down. Another bra. All right. Three to five bucks each, I'd say. All right, we got a little one here. Another one with those weird initials. 
So I wonder if like a whole bunch of stuff was getting sent to this place and they just rejected them all or something. It is, no idea what this is. It's fluffy, it's like a dog bed, but tiny. Maybe for a doll dog. I don't know. This one, a little crushed. And it is, <laughs> there, need a hand? So you put the bowl in here. I want to eat my cereal out of one of these, but the hand, the bowl is way too small for cereal. Maybe dip ketchup to dip your fries in. If you need a hand, there you go. All right, and that's ceramic, so I don't want to throw that one. All right, you get this box. I am pretty sure I opened one that had the same box. So now this may be a duplicate of something that I already opened earlier. Yep, the outlet nightlight thing. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes left. This one, again, with the weird initials. And it is a, oh, it's a hoodie for a dog. And it's got the little eyes on the hood. This is probably gonna be too big for the cats, unfortunately. All right. This one is addressed to the weird initials again. I wonder if the last one are all going to be the same initials. This looks like more pajamas. But, oh, just in time for Easter with rabbits. I wonder. Oh, that's a 2X. Christiana will not fit into this. Although people like pajamas to be super loose. But I feel like she'd be offended if I gave her a 2X piece of apparel. All right. I know I would be. Next, we've got Wish List Bester. And it is... Oh, hold on. Oh, I just wrote a number on it, probably a return number. I'm gonna guess more pajamas. I don't know the brand, they've got tags on them. Looks like something that's probably really cheap, but made to look really fancy. All right, last three. Oh, this one's really light. Ever best sellers. Ben is gonna be so upset with me when I leave him this huge mess to clean up. You can't even see how messy this is. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, we've got a box here. Ooh, a color-changing LED bulb with the remote. I'm still gonna say 10 bucks, a lot of $10 items here. Last two, we'll pick them both up. All right, this one is in a Starburst box, addressed to Everbest Sales. Remember when you're cutting, you want the knife to go towards you. That's the safe way to do it. And in this cardboard box is another cardboard box. And in that cardboard box, oh, another one was Wish Cauldrons, but it got a little crushed. All right, last one. This one is Everbest Sales. It's a U-line box, 10 inches by eight inches by six inches. Leave a comment now. What do you think it is? Everbest Sales. I think they might be the ones that had all the Halloween stuff. There were four, five, six of them. I'm gonna guess, got a little bit of weight. It's dense, it's about the size of this box. I'm gonna guess it's another one of those anti-fatigue floor mats, but Halloween. Let's see, I was incorrect. It is, oh, we got a receipt here. Um, oh, Walmart. Oh, this is a, Everbest Sales must be a Walmart seller. Um, this is a Walmart Marketplace return for $27.96. And, all right, it's two items, and I dropped that one, so we'll start with this one. This is, oh, the tag was removed. A sweatshirt, a really soft sweatshirt. This is actually the same brand, I think, as those pajamas that I said looked fancy. Nope. 
Very similar tags, but different brand. Super soft. I've got a tag gun, so I'm gonna stick this back on before we sell it. Um, and then we've got same thing, but in white. Very soft sweatshirt. So that is this palette. Let me show you the mess that Ben's gonna have to clean up tomorrow. So we got all this stuff here and all of that stuff. Oh, I had a couple items I wanted to look up on eBay. That's gonna be this nail stuff and this, this thing. Let me look these up. All right, I think we're gonna put this on eBay. It looks like the shorts sold for 15 plus eight shipping. And the top sold for, they took an offer, but it was listed at 18 plus six shipping. So maybe I'll get like 30 bucks for this set. Couldn't find the nail polish on eBay. I'm sure we can get two or three bucks per bottle, jar. So anyways, that is this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to get more of these. I enjoy going through these. This one was kind of lame, but I like the mystery. So I will see you in the next video.